Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So just a quick video to let you know about a update that Microsoft has rolled out regarding the split screen feature in Microsoft Edge for desktop. Now a quick recap, split screen, as the name implies, lets you multitask by splitting up your screen into two open tabs which are viewed in the same window. And as I've posted previously, a nice handy multitasking feature in the browser. And if you want more info regarding split screen, just do a search accordingly on the channel. Now, currently uh, in the stable version of Microsoft Edge, there is no way to actually turn the split screen feature off. We do have the option to be able to hide from toolbar, which can also be accessed if we just head to our main settings in the stable version can also be accessed um, on the appearance page where you can customize the actual toolbar button so here we go split screen button you can turn off the button but you can't actually disable the split screen feature and turn the feature off as a whole now this could all be set to change because um, in edge canary 124 which is the latest preview version edge's split screen now has its own section on the appearance page where there's a toggle to actually disable the feature and there's also a toggle to turn off the option that lets you drag and drop tabs to open them in split screen which is also an option available in the split screen feature so in edge canary if we just head quickly over to our settings and we head to the appearance page here we can still see we have our split screen button, which will just turn off the actual button in the toolbar. But if we carry on scrolling down, it seems now that Microsoft is testing this new option. Whereas mentioned, split screen now has its own section on the appearance page, which gives you um, these th three options. Enable split screen, drag tab to open with split screen. You can turn both those off and then you can configure split screen as an example, site permission to op or to open links with split screen. But the important bit here, I think, is if you're not using this feature and you want to free up a couple of system resources in the browser, especially if you are using Edge on a low budget or low end machine, you can now actually turn off the split screen feature, which will require a browser restart. So I can actually turn it off and you'll see some interesting things take place when I restart my browser. So because I have to restart, it actually means that it's not just disabling a shortcut. It's actually disabling the, the split screen feature as a whole in the browser. Now you will see it's actually removed the split screen shortcut button from my toolbar. And on the appearance page, you will see that the option to actually toggle on split screen has also been removed from the different um, buttons to be able to toggle on shortcuts for the toolbar. So it means that because it's actually removed that whole function, that the feature is now totally disabled and hasn't just turned off the shortcut like it currently does in the stable version. So there we go. And that's now actually turned the feature off as a whole. And if you want to re-enable the feature, obviously you just toggle that on. You'll have to restart once again because obviously it's applying a major change um, kind of in the background and you can see once again as soon as I've restarted here is my split screen toggle and if we head down once again on the page you will see that the toggle to turn on the shortcut is available once again which means the feature has been re-enabled and if we scroll down just a little bit more we can see uh, that everything is back to normal and you can also just toggle off drag tab to open with split screen so if you don't want to disable the feature completely you can also just toggle that uh, feature off which doesn't require a browser restart so that's just disabling um, a, a so-called setting but this will actually disable the whole feature um, in Edge Canary 124 obviously not available as yet uh, in the stable version it's still early days this has just become available in the latest preview version and like all of these um, different tweaks and adjustments i'll keep an eye on this but i actually think this is a nice move in the right direction because i think turning off that feature will actually free up a couple of system resources when it comes to resources that edge is using and could give you a little bit of a system boost especially on a low budget or low end machine 
So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.